Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. Um, and that's the profit, right? That's profit, that's after taking out all of the expenses. So 30,000 gold, we will make profit on top of this. That is pretty good going. Uh, we're selling them at like 4,500 gold each. So we're going to end up, once we've sold three, well up on what we were previously. And then everything else is just money pouring into the bank, which it just gets better and better, doesn't it? I mean, that you, you couldn't ask for better than that. I got 10 fell iron bars in here already. I'm going to drop those in there like that. And then the fell iron, those, and the elemental blasting powder that's going to go in here as well. Where did that go? Where did that elemental blasting powder just disappear to? Bring that up like that. There we go. Uh, frost steel, adamantite. Oh, very peculiar. Did it go over on this side? Solid blasting. No. Oh, there it is. There. Elemental Blasting Powder filled up that last little spot right there. Uh, there is nothing else that I need to worry about on See there for a minute. Right. Now, bags. We're not doing too bad with that. I'm not going to get too bogged down in any more of it. We've listed the stuff for sale that we want to list for sale. Uh, right here, we've got the Swine Stain Saber, level 209. That one is a one-hander. Level 223. So that one is altogether better. Uh, that is 10.2 damage per second. This one over here is 15.2 damage per second. That one's pretty good. I like the sound of that one. So that's the one that we're going to go with. This one here we will dismantle in a minute in a dismantler thing. Uh, Monel Hardened... Uh, Monel... Is it Monel or Monel? Monel, I think. Monel Hardened Shield of the Quick Blade right there. It gives us critical strike and versatility, which is pretty good. Um... And that will replace that shield there. Loads of extra arm. Um, that's basically loads of extra everything. So we take that one there. And we've already replaced that axe. There. Yeah, but it's also removed the offhand, the shield. So I've got Truth Guard, the shield, there. Uh, what was it done with my... What was, was it done with the axe? Where, where's it put the axe? Where's... Seriously. Where's, where's, where's the axe gone? The... whatever it was that we had there. How has that just vanished? Like, honestly, it should have... Like, if it was going to go anywhere, it would go there. I suppose it could be in one of these. What have I got here? It's not in there. It's not here. It's not here. Oh! Wait a minute. The two of them go together. There's Truth Guard there. It's saying Truth Guard there. Um, if I remove Oathseeker and bring it up, it does, it keeps the two, yeah, you, you've got the two of them, right, yeah, it's got the two of them together in one thing, you, you can't separate them out, so I've got that right there, in which case, so we put in, the, we, we'll take that one there, um, now we want, so that's item level 220, and then we would drop in this one, and we want to drop in that one as well, yes, we do want to equip that one, we've got that now added to our appearance list, that is the... Anchor shield on there. I might actually keep that one. We gotta change the axe though. We got, and that's now we're 226 on this. So it's looking good. Um you kinda tempted to keep that one. I know that I've got it transmogrified at the moment, but I'm still tempted to keep that weapon. Uh, uh, there is a way I think you can keep it. We go to storage. So I need to I need to transmogrify. Anyway. Um shop! Browse. Smell. Smell. Reed's War Axe. Right, so I want to make that one look like a one-handed mace. And we got to pick something out. Now, I did have... Well, if I got on here, this one is transmogrified to Ogre Mage Club. Adversarial Blackjack. Where's the Ogre Mage Club? It's it's one of the really simple ones. It look, made it look like a pickaxe, essentially, what I thought. Uh, Kobold Basher. That's uh, close-ish. It's not, it's not a proper pickaxe, though. I want one. I mean, I love the frying pan. <laughs> I think that is absolutely brilliant. A lovely little nod there to Ogre Mage Club. That's the one. And the frying pan is, I'm assuming, a nod towards, um, the, the, was it the Unknown Players Battlegrounds or something? Um, Ogre Mage Club. 
And then a weapon enchantment. We can make it glow one of these different colours if we want to. We will have you glowing. Uh, hide weapon enchant. No, I don't want to do that. Um, bring you out that way. And have you go? Well, have you glowing with a golden light? Because we are a paladin after all. And we will pop that one on there. So I don't have anything on the shield. So we've got that shield. I think we'll stick with that for a minute. Good fortune to all friends of the Grummels. Good fortune to all friends of the Grummels. Right. We will leave it like that. We won't do anything different. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to go over here. We've got Void Storage in here. Now, I've, I've never actually used Void Storage. We're pretty sure Void Storage. Master of Fate, purveyor of exquisite furnishings. Oh, man. How oh, may I be of service? The shapes under Vasherine's hood ripple into a crude approximation of a smile. How wonderful to see you, Grundorn. Can I interest you in one of my freshly acquired products? Uh, dude, that's a lot of stuff. Unlock Heart of Az... Wow. What do you got to get? Titan Resi Residuum. Residuum. Titan Residuum. Where are you supposed to get that stuff? 20,000 Titan Residuum. Obtained from Mythic Keystone Weekly Chess and by scrapping or disenchanting Azerite Armor. Wow. Okay, we're not going down that road. Uh, Transmogrifier, Azerite Reforger. I thought there used to be a void storage. Shall we get down to business? The power of Azerite is limitless. Lucky for you, my prices are not. Right, I don't want to reforge anything. Master of Fate. How may I be of service? Right, there used to be void storage. Maybe they've gotten rid of void storage. Maybe that's not a thing anymore. Used to be able to store stuff. I, I think maybe because of the transmogrifying and stuff like that, maybe it's not really a thing anymore. I I don't really know. Um, see, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to keep the, the paladin weapon because it's, like it's a little bit of history there with us. And I, I do like to keep those sorts of things as souvenirs. Um, let's go in here a second and we'll see what we can get rid of. I've got Anglian Art Stompers I didn't want to get rid of. Nothing else I can ditch apart from that one. That one and that Swine Stained Sabre. So we'll scrap those three. Are we going to get any Expulsum from this? Durable Flux, we got one Expulsum. Okay, one Expulsum, that's not too bad. It could have been a lot worse than that. We could have had none. And then I will go back over this way. We'll take a hop, skip, and a jump down over here and go into our bank once more. And How we have a look in you? here. Like this. I'm running out of space in here, but I am going to just nudge that one down. We must not forget that we've got some bags in here. We've got a tackle box, which we'll probably use at some point. I've got three hex weave bags there that we're going to use on our new character once we create the new character. So do not let me forget that we've got them there. Now, these are bind on equip greens. I don't Safe think they're travel. much good for anything, to be honest. Uh, we've got the guild vault, and we do have some gear in here, but uh, honestly, I don't think man many people use the, the gear in here. Um, I don't know if it's even worth me putting it in. I suppose we could drop it in here, and then Torvald can always sell the stuff later on. That one's 32 gold. Good gravy. I'll put the stuff in here like this. And then Torvo can always sell it if he thinks that um, it's not actually going to be any good to anybody and will use it for other stuff. So, yeah, it's there. It can be sold to get a little bit of money for the Guild Bank if the Guild Bank thinks that we need it. And if not, well, then we, we don't need to worry about it. I don't want you, actually. I want to go back to my um, Grand Expedition Yak over here. <laughs> Because uh, I want to go to this one. <laughs> Nelly deals for a friend of the Grummels. <laughs> like you. Thank like you. Uh, I want to repair a minute. And then that Charnel Ash. That's one that we've got to keep. The Polished Brass Sextant is 18 gold. But it's soulbound. So that's one that we do. Imp Tung Jum, the Wicked of Drasvar, have long consorted with the Malevolent Patrons for power. That one is also soulbound, so that one can also be sold. And the oily glass eyeball, recently used, that can be sold. Uh, perfectly ordinary broomstick, soulbound, so that one is sold. Any greys that are soulbound, those are the ones we want to get rid of. The others we do not want to get rid of. We want to hang on to them. Uh, there's a teardrop pearl, that one can be sold. The 
Pearl's imperfect shape makes it useless for jewel crafting, but it is nonetheless a beautiful object. Right, now we can go. And it doesn't look like I've got anything else that is soul bound. But stained bones. Some ores. Right, there's, there's nothing else over here. Oh, wait, what's that? Draft soul. Use activate soul catcher, allowing you to resurrect on death with 20%. Oh, of course, yes. Right, we mustn't forget that one either. I've got May it there still find active. Good rails. But I haven't got anything else to worry about on that. That's everything that I want to do here. We haven't got anything else that we need to do back in town. So we are going to go back over and we need to meet Lucille. Meet Arthur Tradewind. And then we've got the, the pilgrimage scrolls. The pilgrimage scrolls don't really matter. But we got both of them. We've got the Thorn Speaker over there and we've got her over here. So if we can land there, then we can just travel up the valley and we can meet with... Um, what's her face? Uh, Swine's Larder. Great Father... Uh, Great Father Winter's Hearthstones. That's the one that I want to go. That will take us back into Drustvar, and then we can run up the hill. Mr. Torval has just come online. Let's just say hello. Mocking me for not being able to get the Mono Beasts in Two Point Hospital now. He's mocking me. Mocking my pain and misery. I... That, that's, that's, that's just... That's just being mean. It's not my fault. I can't get them. I just can't get the things. It, it, it's very frustrating. It really is. What have I got here? I got storm silver seam and a great sea catfish thing in there. Uh, where's the storm silver? Where's the great sea catfish for that matter? Uh, storm silver. Deep wood sleeper. Right. One of these is down. Okay. Well, neither of them are down here. Neither of them are down there. So we're going to jump out this way. We're going to go up around the top. And we're going to see if we can find the Storm Silver up there. It's somewhere around here there's Storm Silver. And then there's also a Catfish School. So there's the Catfish. There's the Storm Silver Seam right there in the bottom of the river. And there. Right. Grab that Storm Silver Seam there. Six Storm Silver Ore. Thank you very much. Excellent. That's a good start. I'm also going to do a spot of fishing. We will get, uh, grab a pet as well when we can. I haven't checked to see if um, my pet battle teams thing is updated. But uh, I won't worry about it at the moment. A fair heart of the forest over there. I guess I'd have to catch him or something. I'm not quite sure how that would work. Um... Oh, and you missed two. There's a second one near the reception desk about a minute after the first... Oh, really? How have I managed to miss these mono beasts? So, if you watch the, um, the Two Point Hospital series, you'll know what he's talking about. But it's so frustrating. There's one thing I'm trying... It's, it, it's not affecting the gameplay or anything. But there's one thing I'm supposed to keep an eye out for, for like a long-term research project. And I can't see him at all. But then when... Like, now people are picking them out in the comments, in watching the videos back. And they're easily seeing them when they watch the videos. It, it, it's, it's just making it worse. It's just making it so much worse. Right, we've just leveled up to level 28 there on our fishing. So, I'm not going to do any more than that for a minute. We're going to leave that as it is. And I'm going to go for a mosey on this way. So, the road, I think, am I, am I on the right road? I am on the right road. I want to just follow this track here. And... If I see a pet along the road, I will um, grab it. So at the moment, we got Charlie Tucker. Charlie, Ch Charlie, where are you? There's Charlie down there. There's, yeah, I, I've just dismissed him actually. Right, Charlie Tucker has been following us along. This is Sandy Back Crawler. Um, he's chasing us along at the moment. So if we find another pet along the way then excellent that would be fantastic we will grab another pet um but there's no guarantee that we're going to find one anywhere at all right this is high road pass up here we've if we yeah we have done stuff up here haven't we we did come up and we we killed a load of um chill fur yeti sure of it Pretty sure we had a quest where we were slaughtering the chill fur. Uh, we must have done, yeah, because I've, 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 I've uncovered it and we've got monolite deposits and everything there. Right, 
Okay, so if we've done that, then that's fine. Lucille, what's going on? Ooh, trouble. Mangled trader. How can I help? Good, you are here. Unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to have an easy path to our destination. His yetis are threatening the traders that travel along High Road Pass. They need to be dealt with. I thought I'd already done... Maybe I did have one quest to come up and deal with yeti, but then we've got more here. Yeti to rumble. It would seem that the guard have been lax in patrolling the High Road Pass. The mountain yetis have taken advantage of their absence and now lie directly in our path. I am no soldier, Paladin, so I will need to ask that you take care of them while I try to sneak past. If we can drive them off the road, at least it will make the pass safe again for travellers. Right, well that should be easy enough. Even I can cope with that. This poor trader was set upon by the yetis. There's nothing we can do for him now, but we would be remiss to let his supplies be laid to waste by these brutes. If you can find any supplies worth salvaging, you can use Bella as a pack horse. Don't worry, she's a brave mare and won't spook easily. The Bella, I'll need you to follow this one and carry the supplies they find, okay? Right, did you see that? We get 50 war resources as a quest reward for this one. That's quite handy, considering that we've just run out of war resources only like a very short time ago. Uh, I've got... This is the items up here, so I'm going to hit you and I'm going to hit you. And there is what I'm after, is that one right there. Uh, you know, I'm just going to take these two down for a minute. I'm just going to wallop these two right here. I'm not going to do anything else. Just focus on these two right here. And then once I've dealt with these two, then we can pick that one up and then I'll go and gather up some more. What is that? Monolite deposit. I will go and get the monolite deposit as well. It's all good stuff. All of this is good stuff that we can gather up together and, and we can make use all of it. Yeah, we get some... Oh, that's good. We get meat haunches and jagged fangs and stuff like that from these. That's, that's another big bonus. Right, she's got that lot laid on. Monolite is over... There's the monolite down there. So we go and grab that one. Hopefully we won't disturb any yetis until we mine that bit. There are skeletons down over there. Those are a little bit more of a problem. They're not going... They're, they're not too much of a problem at the moment. Right, let's grab you. And then, right, well, I've got supplies up there, but over this side, I've got more monolite. And quite frankly, I think the monolite is the more important item. So I'm going to go with the monolite. And there, I'm going to hit those two, the shield, and grab them. And then you, I'm going to hit you with that one. And then that one up there, I'm just going to come close by. And, you know, I'm going to grab you as well. Grunton Jenkins! Look at me go! i got loads it's of them now. Now we're talking... Take them all down like this, the whole lot. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to activate both of those there. So we've got our shield going and our, like, wings and very cool. And then we've got our mining ninja outfit. I mean, honestly, look, it looks like a ninja outfit. Right, we've got... This is the most skin-tight outfit that we've used in all of our adventuring. Okay, it looks like we're wearing light... With all the gold light we're on at the moment, it looks like we're wearing yellow lycra. Who in their right minds would wear yellow lycra or yellow spandex? That's what we're doing! We're wearing yellow spandex! What? Um, life doesn't get much better, does it? We're, we're running around in yellow spandex beating up the bad guys. Why does that seem familiar? Anybody know? I know that some of you will know, but I don't think that everybody will know why the yellow spandex thing is uh, significant. Ancient sarcophagus. Right, I don't know what this ancient sarcophagus is. That's that's down. It's not up here. That's that's Azurite up there. Right, we'll ignore that bit. How do I get into... Is, is, oh, there's got to be a cave in here. Yes. There is a cave in through here. Look, there's loads of dead Chilfer Yetis in here. There is this ancient sarcophagus. And... What have I got? I have some vengeful dead. Decided that perhaps I shouldn't be opening up the sarcophagus. That's fine. I don't mind. They don't seem all that vengeful. I got a feeling that this is going to be like a timed event type situation where we get more than just these. So I'm not going to burn my cooldowns on these. Just going to keep things going. There, there. See, told you. Right. We've got another one coming out now. Grab you and... Keep going with it. So I'll keep the stuff down on the ground and we will use his shield whenever I can. I'm not going to burn my cooldowns yet either. Although 
Um, those are still on cooldown. It's that one there, Trunksky. I'm not going to use him just yet. We will use him, but not yet. He will be used on probably the next one. I suspect that we're going to be getting a boss creature in just a second. Um, be something slightly more powerful will come up. This is just going to be like ten of them. Vengeful dead. I need to get closer. Honestly, this is not particularly threatening at the moment. Um, I mean, yeah, the vengeful and everything, but I I don't feel threatened just yet. I I, I don't feel like I'm, I'm under any particular serious anything, really. Like uh, honestly, this it, is just like a walk in the park, a three at a time. Come on, we can do more than that. We can take six at a time. We got any more? Oh, all right. I, is that it? Seriously, after all that, I get one tiny Azerite splinter, and that is it. 36 Azerite power. I was at least hoping for some resources. Garrison resources would have been nice there. I gotta say, officially, I'm disappointed with that. I feel that that could have gone a little bit better, and it could have been a little bit better. We, we, we could have gotten more from that, and I'm now feeling somewhat disappointed. Okay, so let's, let's gather up all of the dead. That, and there, and then you down there. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all these dead things, but uh, we'll take them anyway. Um, I've already got all of the yetis that I need to worry about. So the, uh, I'm guessing the undead, there will be something to come from these guys, but whether it's anything that I need to concern myself with at the moment, I've been poisoned. All right, a, that's a rotten strike. I don't think that's anything particular that I need to concern myself with. Um, doesn't seem to be doing a lot of damage to me kind of hovering along like I've always done. And finish you up. There we go. Charnel Ash. Right. Charnel Ash. Ah. I knew there would be something to pick up. Right. We don't want that. That They've all got the... So worn. They're barely... Rec okay. We get rid of that and that will um, remove all of that. And then I go into here. The skeletons appear to be rising out of the ancient ruins and dot the land here. Their bones are covered with what looks like runes, but time has worn away all but fragments of the markings. If you could find some of these runes intact, Lucille might be able to decipher them and find out where these skeletons come from, and why they're no longer at rest. Okay, I need to collect a pristine rune from one of these bad boys somewhere. So there's the cask of salted fish. Over here, I've got some more ore to go and grab. And I've got the thing up there. There's another yeti on that one. I don't think I have done any quests with these yetis. Maybe, because I'm pretty sure I have done this with Frithgar, but it was a, quite a long time. Because I did, like, a few of the quests. But, uh, so I don't remember exactly which ones I've done and which ones I haven't. I think I may have done these. Because certainly the stuff with the witch trial was familiar. Um... Oh, well, I, I, I don't really know. But, uh, yeah, definitely these yetis seem familiar. But we had we had already uncovered in it. Oh, no, wait. I know what it was. That up there. That's where we went before, wasn't it? And that was the the trogs, wasn't it? That, that All the trogs that we were, like, we would save those little kids from. That's where they came from. Right, now I've got a chest up there. Definitely, definitely want to get that one. Right, well, if, you, if you're coming with me, you yetis, then you may as well come with me. We've got... There's... Oh, it's one of these with the whole... Um, you've got to be careful where you go I'm and uh, how you unlock these. You, you've got to get them the right way around. All right, as long as we get them the right way around, then we're all right. Uh, but you, you've got to make sure that you activate those in the correct order on there. And if we don't get that right, then we're in a spot of bother. This time I will pop those. And I'll pop that one as well. Boom. There we go. And just keep using this. This shield is brilliant because now it also defends us for quite a period of time, absorbing a whole load of damage. And it's quite a considerable amount of damage as well. Our survivability has gone up several grades at this point. All right, it's more Jagged Fangs, more Charnel Ash, which is quite an important one. Okay, so we need to do... I don't know which one is first. Second is that one. Third is that one. And fourth is that one. So that one there has got to be first. That one is first. That one is second. That one is third. And that one is fourth. 
There. Right, now we can open this one up. We have 16 gold, Heartsbane Grimoire. That's a toy that I already know. Uh, 15 and a black stone cat statue. Very nice. That's not a bad little haul, that. Uh, Frostmange. That's a quest target, so we don't want to go after him for a minute. I'm get There's Lucille. She's got another quest for us to do in a minute. I'm going to ignore Lucille for a second. I'm going to run down here. That Yeti I will also ignore. It's the Awakened Dead that I want. And then I've got that that I also want to get. But I'm going to pick up these Awakened Dead as well. And I get the whole lot because I'm hoping that one of them will drop this uh, thing that we're after. You know that um, the rune. Now, one of them has got to have the perfect rune on them. That's, that's what we're trying to get here. The Alpine Falcon. Oh, I didn't actually realize that was a creature that was going to get involved with this. Apparently I was wrong. Right, the Chilfer Yeti is the one that's the toughest. So if I focus my attention on him, then the others will just get worn down as I take down the Yeti. Well, that was actually pretty quick, taking down that Yeti. I think he would die that quickly. And then you and you and then finally you. We're done. Do I have it? No, I don't. I don't have it. Pristine rune etched bone. Still don't have it. So we got to kill a load more of the undead. There is that one done there. So I've got two quests now. I can go up here, find Lucille, and hand them into her. She's hiding up this way. Uh, the rune etched bone. We'll get that one in a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We've um, that one's still got 13 minutes remaining, right? So that one's fine. This one here, use activate the soul catcher. It's got 19. It's now got um, 18 charges. So that one there brings us uh, only usable in Kaltira, Zandalar, and Nazjatar. 20%. Uh, yeah, it will resurrect on death to 20%, which is pretty good. I like that. And then what we'll also do is we will sit and we'll eat a little bit of Mondazi. And we can turn in to Outlander. Okay, Yeti to rumble. Thank you, Paladin. Keeping the pass clear will ensure a steady stream of supplies to High Road Gate. We will need them in the battles to come. I'm impressed. I didn't think there would be this much left from his shipment. This will be very helpful to our men at the gate. Bella knows the way, so she should be able to get the, get these to them. This place is too dangerous to keep her hitched up anyway. Yeah! That... Ride to Aram's stand, Bella. Okay, she's off. Clever horse. Uh, that is absolutely fantastic because that is going to... That's 50 extra war resources that's just got us. I don't know if we're going to get any more of those. Our destination is that cottage up ahead. I know it doesn't look like much, but a great deal of history is hidden inside. First though, we'll need to deal with that massive yeti camp just outside. I'd hate to ask it of you, but I'll need you to draw his attention so I can slip inside. Once you've taken care of him, I'll meet you within. Fair winds and following seas. Fair winds and following seas. Right, well that's great and all, but I also, on top of that bad boy over there, I need to get some more skeletons. And there are not so many of those around. This is all yetis up around this side. No skeletons involved. So I'm going to wallop him over there, and I'm going to go for a run down here. I'm going to keep walloping him as I head down here like this. I'm going to pick up the attention of some of those. Hopefully, this dude will just keep fighting. I'm going to keep hitting him like that. There. Uh, no, I can't drag him any further than that, unfortunately. Some of the standard mobs you can drag a really, really long way. But that one there doesn't appear to be one such mob. Um, what I can do is I can chuck down some stuff for the Awakened Dead over here. Don't appear to be anyone. I've still got those two yetis there. That awakened dead there, I will grab him and then I will come over here. Well, folks, that's all we got time for today. Even the mightiest heroes sometimes need a bit of rest. And we are far from the mightiest, so we are very, very tired. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.